Neil's trip represents a trillion dollar opportunity for Neil themselves and license out that tech. Why is Neil's stock crashing? As you guys may have known, the past couple of days, Neil stock has been going down by quite a lot. And we can all blame it on Joe Biden. So what just happened? And there are profound impacts and massive risks thanks to Joe Biden. All right. So this is, of course, Joe Biden floated some more chip restrictions that could potentially hurt Neil very, very badly and even future new products so take a look at this major chip stocks slump after biden reportedly considers more restrictions on sales to china u.s floats tougher trade rules to rein in china chip industry and this very big news bloomberg news had reported that u.s president joe biden administration was weighing a measure called the foreign direct product rule that would allow the u.s to stop a product from being sold if it was made using american technology aka if a chip is made using American technology, it could be stopped from being sold to China. Very, very big news. NVIDIA or an X chip, all right? Kurt Niels have four of them inside every vehicle, all right? And that, of course, uses NVIDIA's technology, also uses TSMC's manufacturing technology. So that is on that list, which could potentially just be restricted. And if Neil can't get these chips, that's going to be a big problem for them if every vehicle requires four of them. They're going to run out of these chips really fast. So if that is ever going to happen, Neil's got to stockpile these chips like crazy. All right, so they're going to, they got to buy up all the chips and right? stockpile like crazy. But more importantly, if it was made using American technology, Neil's revolutionary new chip, NX9031, absolutely game changing all right it is amongst the best and it's equivalent to four of nvidia's ornx chip revolutionary game changing it's nicknamed god brain here in china all right that, that's actually what it's called but there are no uh semiconductor manufacturers here in china that can make it that's a key point all right Neil has to rely on TSMC to make these five nanometer chips. The best uh, chip that China currently can produce by themselves, seven nanometers. So there is absolutely no way that Neil can make these chips domestically here in China. They have to rely on TSMC to make these chips. And TSMC, of course, they have their own manufacturing technology, which is, you know, yeah, potentially also on this list so that could also mean that Neil's future chips might also be subject to not being able to be produced by tsmc and restricted by joe biden so screw this joe biden guy man and let's not forget onvo also uses one or an x chip all right so if or an x chip gets that block all right by joe biden then that just means that Envo cars are also going to be in trouble. Okay, so let's pray to God that Joe Biden doesn't get elected. All right, otherwise it's just terrible for uh, for Chinese stocks, terrible for Chinese chips. All right, and well, I guess both of them might not be so good for uh, Chinese stocks in general. And, and and Bloomberg they said that right now most Chinese firms they don't even have a preference over the two because they're both equally bad for Chinese companies. You know, one of them has massive tariffs and they're just anti-China all day long. The other one, they want to restrict China's semiconductor business. In one sense, they're equally bad. They're both equally bad for Chinese stocks. Now, if, 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 if this goes through, all right, that what Joe Biden is saying that he's going to do and he's actually going to do it and, and limit products, chips, that are made using American technology can't be sold to China, then that will just have huge implications. That means that Neil's whole entire autonomous driving system right now, which is currently based on four or an X chips, they're going to have to find an alternative, and that's going to be extremely painful to do, extremely difficult, 
Okay, so let's pray to God that this this thing doesn't go through. All right, and to be completely honest, all right, Neil's trip represents a trillion dollar opportunity for Neil themselves, in the sense that they could be like Huawei and license out that tech. All right, we've seen Neil license out tech to Four Seven with a very good uh, royalty deal, etc., and that is a trillion dollar opportunity in itself. In the fact that they got their own trip. And if Neo is capable of finding a domestic producer for that chip, that's shielded from all this Joe Biden crap or Trump crap, all right, and they're able to produce it here in China, then Neo will have a heyday, all right, and they can sell that chip to everybody, all right, and Neo will be like the only guy here in China that has this kind of autonomous driving chip,、uh, apart from Huawei, and they'll be huge competitors with each other, but. Essentially, you know, with Neo's chip, you know, this is this is revolutionary, all right. And Neo can also license out their autonomous driving tech. They're already licensing out the battery swap tech. So, product licensing, technology licensing is going to be a huge, huge thing going forward, worth trillions of dollars. And it's very nice that Neo is developing their own chips. Xpeng is also developing their own ch- own chips. Li Auto is also developing their own chips. You see, it's a trend. All right, they can't have over reliance on Nvidia or these foreign companies because they could always be slapped on with one of these trade restrictions or one of these bans, which、uh, seems to be, you know, inevitable in the sense that Joe Biden's probably going to do it. Trump might also do it. So. It's sort of a guaranteed situation. You got you got no way out except to build your own chips. Now, what can Neo do? Well, Neo's already doing everything they can, making things in house. But other than that, they can only pray. We can only pray that things turn better. We can only pray that、uh, the U.S. stops using chip as a weapon, as a political weapon, to go against China, and. Everything turns into politics. It's so unfortunate, and the fact that Chinese companies or or even Neo they have to be hindered because of the fact that Joe Biden comes out with this kind of a, a rule, you know, that's just cr- pretty stupid. But definitely, just pray to God that you know、uh, this rule doesn't go through, and Nvidia can continue to sell chips. To Neo until the product switch happens and everything moves on to Gen 3 platform with the NX9031 God chip, and then after that, hopefully, production of that isn't going to be hindered with any stupid rules that Joe Biden or Trump comes out with that limits、uh, production of that, and that's going to be really, really dumb in my opinion if that happens. But other than that, I mean, like, hopefully, maybe, maybe Neo can find a way to produce the chips themselves. Even though that's just a huge,、uh, expensive process, fabrication is just crazy expensive. So I don't think that's ever going to happen. All right, to be honest. But hopefully, some Chinese firm here in China can figure out a way to do it, produce five nanometer chips, and then Neo is probably going to move production of those NX chips over there. That's going to be just immune to all the BS that Joe Biden and Trump throw, throws at China, throws at Neo. You know. That's really going to help Neo out. All right, so hopefully, rooting for China, rooting for the fact that they can get those chips made here domestically here in China. Hopefully, the rules don't go through. That's why Neo stock is crashing. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Peace out.